Travelers we spoke with tonight here at Hancock Airport says they're grateful for the extension because they didn't even know they needed a new ID to board an airplane. Others aren't sure why they need one. You're used to pulling out your license when you head through security, but now that might not be enough to get you in the air. The Department of Homeland Security says those standard IDs don't tell TSA agents enough about you. I don't know what other information you would need on a license that we don't have, but... The Department of Homeland Security says all travelers will have to provide proof of identity and U.S. citizenship before boarding a federally regulated flight in the future. A driver's license in New York doesn't prove those things. However, an enhanced driver's license would. Well, I think if that's the new rule, people will adjust easily enough. However, Elizabeth Meekin of Utica rethought that when she found out it costs $30 more than the standard one. Expenses go up, but their salaries don't go up, so I'm kind of unfortunate. Enforcement was slated to begin in 2016. However, yesterday, the Department of Homeland Security agreed to extend the use of standard IDs in New York for another year. If you don't get an enhanced license by that time, you would have to bring your passport as well for all flights. Why? To inhibit terrorists' abilities to evade detection by using fraudulent IDs. I'm sure it might help with some, but I don't know what the... If we'll ever get rid of this completely. Elizabeth says she feels the best precaution is to remain vigilant. One traveler I spoke with brought up the point that she doesn't understand why you need all this identification for this mode of transportation, but you can get on a train with hardly any. Reporting from Hancock Airport tonight, I'm Brett Hall.